So, welcome back to my channel, friends. Go with me. In this session of Java programming language, we'll be discussing about another interesting topic of Java, that is strings. So, friends, for better understand, understanding, so I'll be noting down all the points. What I'll be saying, what I'll be explaining. So, as you guys come up, come across the definition of strings, that is strings, are nothing but a collection of sequence of character. So friends, in the previous session of C programming language, I have explained to you about strings. How the string words, string works, how string is declared, how do you initialize the values to the strings. But in the, but the strings in Java is found to be a complete different story compared to that of C. Because in C language, strings are treated as variables, but in Java, strings are treated as an objects. So I'll be writing down treated as objects. The most important parts which you guys have to know about things. And another interesting topic of strings in Java is strings in Java is divided into two tiers. Strings in Java is divided into Two types. What are those if you ask me? One is immutable strings in the sense non-changeable strings it means the strings that cannot be changed. Example friends. Example name gender and name, gender, and uh, parents' name. These are called as immutable strings, which cannot be changed in future. And another one is friends, immutable strings. That means which is changeable strings. Example, friends, uh, your email address, which you can update it as you wish. And the password of your email address, which can be changed as you wish, and your home address also changes in real key to different address. So these are the two types of strings in Java: that is immutable strings and mutable strings. And one more thing, interest, one more topic of sorry, one more thing is immutable strings as is declared using a keyword string. For better understandability, I'll note down the subline keyword. But mutable strings is declared using keyword, two keyword spans. It can be created using a string buffer and string builder. So this is called as keyword which is used to create. Uh, immutable strings is created using a keyword called as strings, but mutable strings can be created using two keywords that is string buffer and string builder. And storage, where do the immutable strings in Java stored? It is stored in heap segment. And the mutable strings also stored in the heap segment. So I'll let you know the difference in the further class. In the, in the same video, in the next topic, maybe here also, here also the mutable string holding keep segment itself. So friends, and another interesting topic you have to know about immutable strings is immutable strings can be created in two ways. You can create a immutable strings with new keyword. And it can also be created without a new keyword. So, friends, as I was saying, mutable strings or immutable strings can be created to uh, can be created with with new keyword or without a new keyword. The difference in the sense, friends, if you create an immutable strings using a new keyword it will be stored in the 
non constant pool sorry non constant pool which is going to be sub pool of heap segment and if you declare a immute if you create a immutable string without any keyword it will be stored in a constant pool friends so if you ask me what is the difference between of creating a immutable strings with new keyword and without new keyword without new keyword is if you create a immutable strings with a keyword you can add a duplicate friends you can create duplicate strings here i'm sorry you can create a duplicate strings of same name but in here i'm sorry but in constant pool friends you cannot create a duplicate friends duplicate strings so friends these are, these are the core concept of strings in java so i request you to kindly please note down all these points which i have written here so if you find if you find the time running too fast request you to kindly pause the video and not on all these points because these points I have explained here is found to be one of the core points in Java. So friends, I'll start directly with the program for better understandability. So for, for instance, I'll just remove all these things and directly start with the coding part. I'll start with immutable strings. So I'll start with the basic uh, Basic syntax of Java that is public static. I'm sorry, public class main method followed by public static static. I'm sorry, why string arguments and followed by our package contains the body of java so friends here what i will do i'll create a immutable strings with a keyword with new keyword how do i create it friends? usually as i said before in java strings are treated as an objects obviously now you have a clear picture in mind if you want to create an object you have to make use of a keyword called as new like the same way in creating strings also i have to create new keyword as soon as I entered keyword, it a new object is created. So now I want to explain the explain the operating system that is going to execute this program. Whether I'm creating a string or an array or a an object a particular class. So I had to explain the operating system that I'm creating a string followed by a, a common bracket which includes parameters ending with semicolon, following with a string handler as i explained before why it is used because string handler is found to be the core concept which is used to hold the strings yes and followed by saying it says also string so where do i write if you want to ask me where do i write this string i'll display the string here For example i display rama and i have added semicolon so what i'll do first i'll try to print this System dot o dot print l n followed by s. Now let's see what happened, friends. We try to execute this program. I'm sorry, it's showing a small error. Oh, I'm sorry, I just declared the spelling of string is wrong. When I try to execute the program, yeah, hey, friends. Now I can clearly observe observe here. I've successfully created. A immutable strings with a new keyword so by declaring a, uh, declaring a keyword new which is used to create an object followed by a string handler s so this is how you declare a string declare initialize a values to a string in in java there is no such thing as ending with a null character because since the in since in java is in since the strings in java treated as an objects it is declared in this fashion so friends now i have created a immutable strings using a new keyword now i'll try to create 
immutable immutable strings without any keyword how shall i create it friends what i will do just take this thing off and let's add krishna for example now when i try to execute the program friends now we can clearly observe the output is completely changed to from rama to krishna as you can clearly observe here so this is called as immutable strings which is created using with keyword with new keyword or without new keyword so this is called as immutable strings friends so now i hope this want to be non changeable because the reason it is the reason it is non changeable because friends you have declared a string using a string keyword that is the reason it is treated as completely a non changeable string so i'll create now let's get back to the mutable strings I'll just take this thing i'll just create a mutable strings what i'll do just change this i'll just make a small change here now i'll be creating a mutable string using a string buffer as i said before string mutable strings is, is created using two keywords string buffer string builder now let's see what happens means i have declared a string buffer followed by a string handler new string i'm oh sorry string buffer and followed by what i will do i'll just say rama example okay so when i try to execute the friends you can when i try to execute the program you can clearly observe the output is declared as rama as i said before this is mutable strings which can be changeable strings let's try to add an, another string to this output of this string buffer keyword rama how do we add it let's add a string uh, i'll just make use of the string and s dot append sita what i will do i just copy this system dot output printer and copy paste so when i execute the program friends now you can clearly observe here the output is showing rama in the first system dot output printer line and in the second line it is showing as rama sita now you can clearly observe that rama is completely changed into rama sita now let's try adding an another keyword using a string builder as i was saying before that mutable strings is created using two keywords string buffer and string builder now i'll try to run the program using same using a string builder keyword let's see what happens friends so when i try to run the program now you can clearly observe friends that there is no difference string builder and string buffer but one thing you have to notice between string builder here for better understanding it just write it down the difference between string builder and sorry string builder and string buffer the difference here friends string builder it found to be very fast in execution the strings whereas string buffer is slow in execution and another interesting difference between string buffer and string builder string builder friends string builder make use of multi threading what what is multi threading friends so multi threading in a sense friends when you try to execute a multiple task simultaneously in a single operating system what happens in operating system get divided in order in order to perform a multiple task in the same task if we make use of string builder this execution is faster multi threading is completely involved in string builder but in string buffer it's not included so this is the major difference between string builder and string buffer now you have the clear picture of why string builder is used and why string buffer is used 
so friends now we have now we have clearly come across what is immutable strings what is mutable strings and what is uh, how do you create an immutable strings with a new keyword and without a new keyword and how do you create a mutable strings using a string builder and a string buffer keys and also you have come across the string is situated as an objects in java and also come across how do you initialize the values and how do you declare a strings in java so friends this, uh, the session of strings comes in end here so friends if you have any doubts regarding the strings request you to kindly pin down your doubts in the comment section i'll definitely re reply back and if you like this video request you to kindly please like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video have a nice day keep coding keep smiling